Case, um, give us an opening statement, please, and then we'll take um, questions for all. Obviously, that's extremely exciting. Um, I just couldn't be more proud to be a coach um, in this program with these guys and how hard they fought, especially um, after we get punched in the mouth a little bit and then we punch them back and then they punch us and then we punch them back and then we just keep on punching. So could be more pleased with what we saw and I'm excited that we get another opportunity to play again tomorrow. All right, questions? And again, please, Michael, you go ahead, but please raise your hand before you. Uh, Coach, what was the most impressive part of Caden's performance tonight in your mind? The fact that he pitched in the first game and did that again in the second game and gave us some length. Um, just shows to the competitiveness and the work ethic um, and the makeup of him. Because, you know, we tell guys, we tell those guys all the time, you got to be prepared for that opportunity when we need you the most. And obviously this is when we needed somebody the most. And he, uh, he, he stepped up and gave us that length we needed, which was huge for us when, when we really, really needed it there in the middle part of that game. Vance, Caden obviously has been a part of this program for a long time, pitched in Omaha four years ago. Just what was your perspective of what he did today? Um, I mean, I just, you can kind of see him running in and from the bullpen, and you just, he has that look on his face that like, you know, he's gonna get some guys out. And that's a, it's a cool feeling to watch him come in. Um, but you know he pitched pitched really well. He was all on the zone and you know swinging miss, making guys just off balance. And um, it was uh, it was a pleasure to watch. Um, Matt Huntington, South Carolina for Caden and Brian. Caden, can you talk about pitching twice today and, and what you had going in the in the second game and what your mindset was coming into the game? I mean, I'm sure it's been a roller coaster of a season, starting off with closer, you know, struggling, and then getting this opportunity. <clears throat> um, yeah. First game, I mean, that's a role I've been in a lot, and I was definitely comfortable coming in that situation. I'm thankful I was able to get it done for the guys and for us to get a win. Um, and then going into the second game, I think I was just in the same boat as everyone else. Like, it doesn't matter who goes in. It doesn't matter what happens. Like, every single guy that steps out there has to just give everything they have. And I think that was just a simple mindset that I took, and every single one of us who was pitched today or didn't pitch the second game took going into the game, and I think it worked out for us. Uh, for coach and fans, in the, in the first inning, it seems like you guys were really aggressive early in the count. Was that the plan, or did it just work out that way? Go ahead, um, I mean, we kind of knew that the guy was going to come at us. Uh, he was going to throw, throw some strikes, so we were just kind of being aggressive and you know being competitive. But um, we were able to find some barrels, and good things happened. Yeah, and I, Coach Woodridge Biggie does such a great job preparing those guys in terms of their approach for who they're getting ready to see, and. Um, it was it was great to be able to do that and then not only do it right out of the gate but continue doing it and I thought that was probably one of the more impressive parts of it offensively tonight. For Caden and Vance, what, what were you guys thinking? What were you feeling when you heard the crowd chanting Coach Forbes' name there at, at the end of the game? And what's it like to be able to to get these two wins and be able to get him back tomorrow? You know, it doesn't have to. The season doesn't have to end with him off somewhere else. I just think it's awesome. Um, there was a point in the game where we felt pretty confident that we were going to be able to get the dub, and just to get that kind of support, not just for our team, but for our head coach, because just shows that they know how hard he works and just how much they admire him as the guy that's going to lead us out there every game. So that was awesome. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Um, it just kind of shows the support that you know Coach Forbes has, and you know that's just from you know his hard work and everything, and you know he has the. I mean, a lot of people have his back, so uh, I, thought was, I thought it was really cool. Brian, I know you're sitting before us as the acting head coach, but as the pitching coach, just how proud are you of your, of your pitching staff to have, I mean, the three guys in relief today pitched in the first game, and um, Sean just talked about how difficult it is, a regional can be on the pitching staff. Just what are your emotions feeling after seeing what they've done today? Yeah, I'm just so proud of them because the thing that we talk about first and foremost is, is resilience. You know, being able to handle anything that gets thrown at you, and. You know, they spend so many hours that people don't see after these games working out in the weight room to try to put their bodies in a position to be able to come back the next day. And oftentimes they may not come back the next day. It may be a week, it could be two weeks, it could be even more time. Um, but this is the most fun I've had coaching a pitching staff this year and it's because I know that when these games end, 
guys like Caden and the rest of those guys, they work really hard in the back so that when it gets to the point of the season where we need you the most, when you don't feel very good, you're prepared for that because you've put in the work that nobody seemed to be able to perform in that situation. So um, I'm just extremely proud and extremely grateful to be their coach and excited to you know, get a chance to watch him perform again tomorrow. Do you have any idea who, what the plan is for tomorrow? I have no idea what the plan is for <laughs> Yeah, I have no idea. Uh, Shelby Swanson, Daily Tar Heel. This is a question for you, Coach Gaines. We talked after the VCU game last night just about the idea of missed opportunities. You guys were one for nine with runners in scoring position, and you just weren't able to take advantage of those opportunities. I mean, you guys were rolling tonight, seven for 11 with runners in scoring position. What do you think went into that, and how were you guys able to have just such success with that today? I think a lot of it was the fact that um, we were able to expose that guy pretty early. Angel got a big hit, and then obviously Matt got a big hit. And then, you know, a lot of times, you know, hitting is just contagious. And when we got off to that kind of start, especially when Angel gets us going the way that he does, um, I think it just carried on through. And it showed everybody that they can, they can be aggressive when they go up there, like what Vance had to say. And um, it, it, it was one of those things that just kept going and going and going. And it's, uh, it, was, it was fun to watch when it did, and hopefully it'll carry again tomorrow. Uh, Coach, you sort of alluded to this before, but how proud were you to see uh, Connor Bogart go out there and provide some really good relief on the back end of the game after he kind of got hit around against Georgia earlier? In the day? Yeah, I, I was extremely proud of him, and you know we had to we had to pull him we had to pull him at um, in the ACC championship game too. There and Davis had to come get the last out, just like Caden did tonight in the first game to get the last out. Um, and that's big because it's one thing. One of the things we talk about a lot is the pitching stats, being able to pick guys up when they may not have their best day. So I was extremely proud of him, and um, I'm excited to see you know tomorrow somebody else is probably going to be in that situation, and somebody else is going to have to get it done after him too. Coach, I was wondering, kind of rewinding back to this morning, this afternoon, what was your message to the guys about what they had to do today as far as winning two games? And then just now, what did you maybe sense in the locker room about uh, how they feel heading into tomorrow after, after accomplishing that? Well, I think they're extremely excited to play tomorrow. Um, but the mo most important thing we can do right now is just recover. So that's what we're stressing to them, be able to get in bed, get something to eat, um, and, and get ready for tomorrow. Um, the message today, Coach Forbes, you know, he passed it along and – it's really just being in the moment and having an attainable goal. You know, something that's in front of you that you can achieve. We try to win two games at nine o'clock in the morning and we're not gonna be in a good position. So um, I thought the message was pretty good and I thought the task at hand was carried out extremely well by these guys. Vance, I know it was not even in this game, but could you take us through that robbing of the home run in the ninth inning against Georgia? Um, yeah, I don't even, when, I mean, when the ball was hit, we were already kind of played pretty deep. And then I got to the track, and I thought I was like done carrying, but it just kind of kept going. But luckily, I mean, it stayed in. I mean, I guess it, I mean, it just kind of stayed enough um, for me to kind of get over. But um, I'm just, uh, and then, you know, we got that out, and then Caden came in and got the last one. But I mean, it was, uh, it was special. Um, this is for Caden. Caden, can you talk about what it's like and how you feel about realizing the difficulty of advancing from the loser's bracket? This is something that hasn't happened in the, in the modern era since they're super regionals. Can you talk about how you feel about getting a chance to go blank and save arms in the bullpen and give you all a chance to win in advance? Yeah, I think I was a guy that was fortunate enough to be able to do that tonight, but we have so many guys in our bullpen or on our staff that can do that. And I think we all believe in each other that we like, that each guy can go out and do that. So, I mean, I really think it's just a matter of that's how the game ended up today. And like, some, some guys are going to have to do it again tomorrow. So it's just a matter of like, sticking with the process. We're going to go one out at a time, one out at a time. And however it folds, it's however, however it goes. But any guy on our, on our staff, I think, can do that. So. Shelby, you want to RL, and then we'll have maybe one more to get to the oh. Vance, quick, quick follow-up on the other question. Have you ever stolen a home run before? And then I also wanted to ask, you, you and Alberta both had at least 20 home runs, the first teammates to do it in program history. What does that say about this team? I have not stolen a homer before. Um, <laughs> I've, I've kind of been close this year, but I haven't been able to bring one back. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, I guess you can kind of credit the um, 
like you said, that me and Alberto just kind of hard work. Um, you know, he's always in the back in the cages, just trying to perfect his craft. Um, and I admire that about him. Um, and you know, I mean, whenever you see one guy doing it, you know, that kind of just makes everyone want to follow. So um, I just think, yeah, hard work kind of credit that. Yeah, this is a question for both Vance and Caden. Um, you guys both were critical in the last two outs of the Georgia game. Can you just take me through how you rode that momentum straight into that seven run first inning in the VCU game? I think when we when we got the last two outs of the first game, I think we were really just in the moment focused on winning that game. And then knowing like we won one of the two games that we had to win today, just in a way took the weight off our shoulders as a team because it's half the work that needs to be done. Um, but we really just between, in the locker room between games, just tried to flush it, reset, and focus on the task at hand for the, for the beginning of the, of the second game, so. Yeah, I would just say kind of second that, but you know, getting that, getting those last two outs um, in game one was huge, being able to um, have a little bit of break, come back in the locker room and you know, regroup, like Caden said, just, um, just kind of flush it and then just focus on the next game. Um, and we know we came out, we came out swinging. Caden, just how much do you think what you guys went through earlier this year just kind of contributed to you guys being able to get through today? Just kind of made the task of getting through this mean a little less daunting. Yeah, I think that puts us in a, a good, as good of a position as any team could go where we want to go as the year goes on. But that's what we talked about last night after the game didn't go how we wanted to. We had a rough stretch. It's been a story of our team. So. I think it put us in a better place after losing last night to just say, I mean, like, what is this to us? That's, like, it's been like this for us all year. It's just another thing. It doesn't like, change what we're trying to do. And I think that helped it help us have a great approach coming into it today. I have one more. Okay. This one. All good? Yeah, all good. All right. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it, guys.